Hello, you beautiful bunch. Welcome back to my channel. It's Karen. I hope you're having a fab week. We have a nail to decorate. So let's jump into it. This week we're doing Baroque butterflies. And um, I didn't quite know what to call this one, but the word Baroque came to my mind. I looked it up and it means sort of um, anything with sort of um, swirls and gilded, like sort of gilded swirly design. So that's what we went for. Here we are, Baroque butterflies. But anyway, I'm starting off with this beautiful base. I think this is Emma um, by Bling Line. And then I'm going in then uh, with some peppermint tea. This is one of my favorite glitters. I love the iridescence. There's a little bit of silver in there too as well, just to give it just how beautiful, by the way, is it over this color? Um, although the glitter is a minty color, you know, the mix is obviously a minty color, but because it's iridescent, you're getting that kind of um, beautiful lilac tone through that. And to be quite honest with you, I would have just loved this nail as is. I mean, I am easily pleased when it comes to glitter, but that was the first way that I was applying it. This second way though, this would tend to probably be my preferred way. I put a little blob of gel on a mixing palette and then I sprinkle in some glitter and I mix it through. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple of ways. Some people put it on pretty much sort of raw as is or others mix it with the gel. I just prefer it this particular way, the second way that I'm doing it. And I always like to do two layers of uh, glitter because I like that really kind of, um, I just like that sort of dense, you know, that kind of dense look in the sense that it's really compacted and sparkly. I don't like the sparser look, but once that's been cured, um, then I'm going in then and I'm just encapsulating this now. Um, this might look like quite a bit, but I am actually going to file it down a good bit. I just want to make sure that everything's covered because we still have some more steps to take um, for this. So it's kind of like, if you imagine the theme that I was sort of going with was a bit of a sort of like summer evening garden sort of kind of thing, you know, sort of whimsical look. Um, but anyway, what's that? What's that's all cured? I'm sort of waffling on now. Once that's cured, then we're going to wipe that off and get that nail nice and refined because we're going to be doing some more encapsulating. So I've really kind of toned it down. This is some base coat because the next step I'm going to be applying decals and decals adhere to a base coat. You want to cure it. So this here is our little butterfly decals, the little monarch butterfly ones. And I have um, cut them and popped them onto my uh, stamper. Now, because I'm not going to put them on a white background, this is where I'm going over with some white gel paint. So if you're putting decals on a um, color background, all you have to do is just paint the back of them. Now, side note, don't do what I done wrong. And this is what happens whenever you're sitting watching YouTube at the same time as recording. Um, on the bigger butterfly, I put a little bit too much gel paint and then obviously it sort of dries quite rigid. It wasn't an issue, but um, I had put way too much white gel paint on there. You do not need even half of that. So anyway, once I have that, all filed down and this is nice and matte top coat because we're going to go in with some of the detailing it wasn't like i say it wasn't an issue but you know just bear that in mind um you know because it will end up quite rigid the more uh, white gel paint you put on it but there we go it is what it is it's a learning curve anyways this is some liquid metal chrome paint and you can get this anywhere there's lots of nail art shops do this. and uh, But this one here, I just went in with a detailer brush and I just edged the butterflies. I actually edged, as you could see, around um, the actual, the, the nail itself and then cured it. Um, just to kind of frame the nail, make it look a little bit more, I don't know, just, I think it just kind of finishes it, you know? And um, yeah, and then I'm just going sort of round the little details then of the butterflies and I'm just bringing um sort of just highlighting the edges of the decals there as you can see whenever you cover it in matte because they're actually encapsulated um this just I don't know it just they um they're just lovely I, I just I love them either matte I love them top coated with gloss as well too but um yeah this sort of like just makes it quite 3d looking in a sense and i kind of got sort of like tiffany vibes off it as well too you know the sort of the tiffany lamps i love 
those lampshades a tiffany lampshade i've actually always wanted a tiffany table lamp and um, one day i'll get it but um yeah they're really pretty so again i'm just going in uh, with my detailer and i'm just doing sort of these little swirls here and there and um, i actually haven't done swirls before and i'm really pleased with how they turned out i was actually quite surprised because yeah, freehand isn't sort of my forte, but I was really pleased with these. And um, yeah, and then I'm just going in then with some no wipe top coat, filling in the little butterfly wings because I wanted them to sort of stand out just that little bit more against that beautiful frosted backdrop of peppermint tea and the kind of the gilded edges. And there we go. That is the finished result. A really pretty Baroque butterfly nail. I just love it and using the decal decals as a guide. I hope you like this too. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Thank you guys as always for joining me and I'll see you all next time. Bye!